so I hate to upload early in the day and be a bummer with bad news, but we got some bad news in regards to Season 1 for Vanguard and Warzone here as of today from the official Call of Duty account. Today we're going to break down this information, what you need to know of it, and what an unfortunate delay means for the near future here within Vanguard and Warzone. So that said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys okay with the delay? Are you bummed out by this? Are you happy by it? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this. You guys have been seriously crushing the support on the channel lately, so I truly, truly thank you guys for that. It means the world to me. And if you guys also want to stay up to date with all things Vanguard and Warzone, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys are part of that nearly 70% of viewers and you'd like to stay up to date with everything while joining us on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you. That said, let's jump right into the information at hand and what this delay means for the near future of Call of Duty. So this wasn't what I was expecting to see this afternoon, and it's certainly not many probably would have had on the bingo card. But as the launch of Vanguard, we sort of had this general idea for what we'd know and a little bit of a roadmap that was a top level. It didn't give us specifics. It gave us information about what was coming at day one of Vanguard's launch, that coming with campaign, MP, and zombies, a little bit of free preseason content, as they mentioned, with shipment, which is now live, and of course, the last days of Verdansk limited time modes and Warzone events, but then they also gave us a little bit of what to expect for Season 1, with Vanguard content described as new maps and modes, new weapons and gear, and new zombies updates, as well as the Warzone Pacific update of a brand new map of Caldera, Rebirth Island still sticking around, Vanguard Royale, which we later learned was going to be Battle Royale, but only with Vanguard weapons, though you could still use the other weapons from Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War alongside Vanguard weapons at the integration. That was just a little bit a time mode that was going to be Vanguard only, the new combat vehicles, and of course then the entire new ways to play within the brand new map of Caldera, plus finally that ricochet anti-cheat being live at a kernel level for Warzone and Vanguard. That was given to us before the launch here of the game, and of course let us know that it'd be coming in what was just under two weeks time at this point, December 2nd. However, as of today, that news changed. Call of Duty tweeted, update, season one of hashtag Vanguard and Warzone Pacific will now release December 8th. Vanguard owners will have a 24-hour exclusive first play access to the Caldera map. Open access begins on the 9th. So essentially just shifting everything back by nearly one week from what we saw initially. Now, there is no reason given at the very moment. There's, of course, probably going to be a whirlwind of speculation as to why. The only things that I could potentially think of as to why may come down to maybe just the map needing a little bit more work, a little bit more time to be refined. Maybe the overall integration itself needs a little bit more time to be refined porting over those camos, those weapons, and all things that go along with that. Maybe the engine itself needs a little bit more time to be upgraded, since it is mentioned that Warzone will now share the same engine as what we see in Vanguard, so whether we see that actually being an upgrade to overall Modern Warfare's EXE file, or maybe we end up seeing it being purged and we end up having Warzone be its own application at this point, we don't quite know, and there also is that very real possibility that the hot water that the executives over at Activision are in, this may have stalled some things out. So it seems like history is repeating itself here a little bit. We saw Black Ops Cold Wars Season 1 get delayed a little bit last year. We saw that Modern Warfare Season 1 was extended because the Season 2 delay happened in Modern Warfare's main year of content. So this seems to be an unfortunate cycle that we're in out of the last couple of years, but overall, here's my thoughts on it. If the product itself is finished, it's in a great state, it's a very stable build, it's a lot of fun, gives players everything they hoped, I'm totally fine with the five, six, seven day delay here on this. It doesn't seem to be anything too crazy. And even though it has the implications then of potentially pushing back everything for the rest of the year, shifting each working day of release for reloaded updates, seasonal updates, things like that, back maybe by a week or so, Really, it's not the end of the world. It's not the worst case scenario, perhaps. It's just kind of unfortunate that we may have been looking forward to this kicking off our December, starting out on a brand new Warzone map. And for those that have been grinding out Warzone since day one, I'm sure that you're absolutely ready for something new as am I, so unfortunately we have to see this delayed just a little bit. Now, my next piece of curiosity though comes to how does this affect the launch of the upcoming Warzone events? We saw yesterday we had that brand new Operation Flashback, an LTM within Warzone that lets you kind of play with everything that we had seen from the last 18 months of Warzone, and it was a lot of fun. Definitely think you should still jump in and check it out if you guys have not done so already, but 
as we talked about that was part one of three parts that were going to be happening here leading up to the launch of caldera and the sort of end of an era for verdansk at least within warzone so that's something that right now there is no details on what this actually will mean for the upcoming secrets of the pacific limited time event that comes along as of what was scheduled for this upcoming week and then to follow the last couple of days leading from november 30th into december 2nd the actual end of verdansk sort of event the last hour of Verdansk as it was detailed. So right now there is nothing here in particular. If I were to guess, that would probably be something that's pushed back as well. Maybe just giving us an extra week here in terms of that Operation Flashback and what we can play simply because, well, the last hours of Verdansk is going to lead into Caldera's launch. So I'm not expecting that to go live a week early and then just have sort of this limbo period of a week but again, not confirmed at the moment. What this does mean overall though, is that you'll have more time to level up and grind your weapons. Personally, when I think about a bad situation, that's an upside here at this because I was kind of pushing my limit a little bit. I'd be having to rank up fully about one to two weapons every single day here to finish out my level grind for Call of Duty Vanguard weapons whenever we jump into Warzone. You want to have as many of those ranked up, and especially those ones you think you will be using. Rifles, SMGs, snipers, potentially shotguns even. There's a lot of different ways that you could play the game that there may be certain metas that come out of the initial integration with Warzone that having those things ranked up is absolutely something that is beneficial. So that's where I'm at, I guess, again, making the best of a bad scenario, perhaps. But that's where we're at with this. That's what's happening with Caldera and the Warzone and Vanguard Season 1 update. Let me know your thoughts down below. How do you guys feel about this? Is this something that bums you out? Are you guys happy to see it delayed? Maybe to have some extra work on it? And if it is something that it was delayed because there needs to be a little work done on either the engine side, on the map side, the integration with weapons side, whatever the case it may be, are you guys okay with that if it does yield a better product on the end? Love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. So feel free to drop whatever it is down there. But if you guys also want to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, whether that be best class setups, tips, tricks, updates, information like this kind of stuff relating to hopefully not more delays in the future, but anything regarding any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys would also like to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to chat with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both of those. So if you guys would like to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.